What is going on everyone? Thank you guys for changing the channel. My name is Robert Richie. If you guys new my channel, so I post videos every single day. Make sure you click like and subscribe button and join our reptile family. Now today, as you guys can see, I am playing with our yellow anaconda female. Now this is the smaller species of uh, anacondas. Uh, so this will get stay a little bit smaller, right around 10 to 12 feet. Um, so she does have some growing to do. And you can see she just wants to roam around. Now she's not nearly, she does have some aggression uh, or defense as people like to say. But, uh, but the male is super, uh, is uh, way worse than her. The male will be striking nonstop and uh, yeah. But yeah, this is my yellow anaconda female and um, pretty much I wanted to make this video because if anyone is thinking about getting an anaconda, you know, I do not recommend it as your first snake. Uh, this is definitely something you should have experience with. Um, trust me when I say that I bought my mail um, <laughs> and uh, I was pretty experienced with snakes. And he's like, anacondas are a different ball game. They really are. You can tame these out. I've seen many people do it. Um, but you definitely do want experience. Anytime you're jumping into a snake, that's a bigger. You always want experience with something. Even if it's a Burmese python reticulated, they're not, those aren't really good uh, pets to start with. Now, the anacondas are commonly mistaken for the biggest snake in the world. It's false. It's the reticulated python. Okay? The yellow anacondas, or even the greens, the greens are a little bigger, um, those will get about 15, 16 feet long. Okay? Your reticulated pythons will get about 23 feet long, the mainlands. Okay, those are the big boys. That's those are the those are definitely long snakes. Now, anacondas are definitely the fattest snake in the world. So anacondas are gonna weigh the most, and they're, in my opinion, the most powerful uh, uh, snakes in the world. Uh, so anacondas, okay, dealing with anacondas, if I was to reach back here, okay, she's gonna tag me. They strike at really weird angles. Um, that like most snakes would not. So uh, it's pretty cool that she's actually like mellowing out right now. And uh, I don't take her out too much. Uh, I let her just be alone, uh, make sure you know she feels comfortable that way. But you can just see, she's staring at me, she's watching me. Dude, if I get any closure, she will definitely tag me. Uh, but she's just a beautiful looking snake. Now I have a, this is the female, I have a male. So I will be doing a, a breeding project, but I want them to be um, definitely her a little bit older and be a little bit bigger before they start breeding. Um, I'm not going to do a ton of these. Uh, I'm only going to probably just do the one pair because I don't want to <laughs> have a lot of uh, a lot of yellow anacondas. Also, yellow, yellow anacondas, green anacondas, any anaconda are in the boa family. So they are a constrictor. Um, not the pythons or not colubrids, but uh, yeah, they're just a beautiful looking animal and she's behaving really well and I really appreciate that. Another thing about anacondas is they have the ability to musk, okay? Musk is kind of like what skunks do, okay? It's very gross. So even if they can't bite you but they feel threatened, they're going to release this smell that smells absolutely horrid. It just, it, it smells bad. And when I got my first anaconda, he wrapped my arm up. He bit me probably 30 times, kid you not, and uh, he must all over me, so I stunk real bad. So that's another ability that these anacondas have. Now this is a two and a half year old female. So you can see Sherry has really good size on her, right? Come on, let's see what right over here. So, and she's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can come over here and pet her. She's just, she's a really awesome snake. So if you guys are ever thinking about doing anacondas, please do your homework and do not buy them as your first pet snake. They do not make good first pet snakes because people get afraid, they release them, which is horrible. Um, so you always want to start with something a little smaller, but they can make fantastic pets. So uh, yeah, you guys, I mean, I've seen people tame them out. Uh, I don't want her coming too much on me. <laughs> Because I, I'm not, I prefer just not to get bit because um, bites are actually bad for the snake. They can actually pull out teeth and I don't want to, 
only time I ever want her to bite is when she's eating. I want her to be as healthy as can be. So that's my video on yellow anacondas. I hope it was helpful. Take care, everyone.